Today I want to show you how you can create a rigged body. So basically a rigged body is a mesh that you can move and shoot around with the player. So first of all do a double click onto the static mesh and check if it has a collision. In my case I've already added one. Then place it to a level, scale it up or down and go into the properties tab. In here scroll down a little bit and under the physics tab you have to choose simulate physics. And now we have already created a rigged body. So do a right click and test it out. And you can see we can already move it around. But now there are also some properties that we can change. So click a second time on it, go to the physics tab and click onto this little arrow here. Now here you can either disable or enable the gravity. So in my case I will disable it now and this here will happen. Which looks pretty cool in my opinion. It, it behaves like it is in space. So there's no gravity anymore and it will just float like that in the air. But I will just enable it now. Then down here at the mass scale you can choose how how much weight it should have. For example when type in O point then we can easily move around. And you can see it already jumps around and it's not pretty realistic. And we can also change that to for example 10 then it's pretty heavy and we can't move it around or just in a very small way. Then down here you can also choose how much it should go either in the angular damping or in the linear damping or how fast it should go there. So for example when we type in 10 at the linear damping it will move very slowly to the ground as you can see here. And you can do the same with the with the angular damping. So there you can just play around with the statics to get a good result. Then down here you can choose how how good it should look like. Here you can increase the number of bows here, of those two values, and then it would, then it will look better and behaves realistic, but of course it will it will consume too much CPU power. So it's not good for the performance. So I will just recommend you to leave that to those values and just close it. Okay, so that are the basics of the Unrelenting Rigid Body. I hope you guys liked it and until next time.